Wow! By the way, my name is Joel Galvan. And I'm a former OFW for 11 years. I work in Dubai as barista. I was making coffee. I work in Dubai because of my dreams. I was earning 1,200 dirhams or equivalent of 15,000 pesos every month. I work in Dubai because of my dreams. Dreams for myself and dreams for my loved ones here in the Philippines. After five years working in Dubai, I realized that nothing is happening to me. And I start asking myself, what are the future waiting for me? In the Bible, there's a, there's a line, seek and you will find, knock and will be open for you. I start asking myself, Lord, what are the future waiting for me? 2011, my father got an operation here in the Philippines. When my sister called me, she told me that I had to send money for my father's operation. To be honest with you, I have no money during the time. But I tell to myself, I cannot accept that my father will die. Because I'm already five years in Dubai. I'm already five years I did not see him. And I have to do something for him. I tell to my sister, bring him in the hospital and I will send you money. But to be honest with you, I didn't have even a thousand pesos in my pocket. I tell to my sister, I will send you money. 2011, I end up a big credit in Dubai. Credit that I don't know how to pay. 250,000 pesos. I pray to the Lord. Lord, give me an opportunity. Opportunity that I can make money aside from my daily job. And the Lord answered my prayer. He gave me global. At first, I'm so skeptic, I'm so negative with this business. Because the challenge for me, I have no experience. I have no confidence to do this kind of opportunity. But I believe in myself and I believe in my dreams. It took me one year before I decide to join in Global. I start the business January 10 of 2012 in Dubai. There's no office, there's no product during the time. It's not an easy journey for me. It was a difficult journey for me. Six months doing the business, no one joined me. All my friends in Dubai, all of them rejected me. But it's okay. I still believe in my dreams and I still believe in the Lord. That I know one day I will become successful in this business. One year doing the business, not even making money. But it's okay. I still believe in myself and I still believe in my dreams. There was a time in Dubai. I sleep only one to two hours every day. There was a time in Dubai that even sleeping in the room without electricity. Imagine sleeping in the room without electricity because the diva cut our line. Dubai is a middle east country. It was very, very hard. But I still believe in him global. I still believe in the Lord. That I know Lord, you have planned for me. Because he says in Jeremiah 29, 11, this is where I know the plans I have for you. Plan to prosper you, to give you hope, and to give you a better future. There was a time in Dubai that even I have no money for my street station. I am still in Dubai that even we don't have money. 
for the next day to buy a food. To be honest with you, I work hard in this business. There was a time that I'm almost giving up. But I still believe in myself. I still believe in the vision of Dokken. I still believe in the vision of the company that one day I will become successful in global. Three years doing the business, full of work, full of passion, hard work, and sacrifices. Three years, I quit my job in Dubai and do this business full time. Right now, I'm enjoying time and financial freedom. Freedom that everyone are dreaming of. Three years of sacrifices, living in Dubai without a job that everyone are dreaming of. Guys, today, I speak blessings to each and every one of you. Listening out, sitting out there and listening to me. It doesn't matter what is your current situation right now. It doesn't matter what is your problem right now. Just believe in it, global. Just believe in your dreams. One day, you are the one standing there and telling your success story. Believe me. You are the one who will stand there. And I believe that success story will inspire thousands of people's lives. Look at me right now. When I came to Dubai, I was not able to speak English. Who knows? I have a bigger God out there. I know He has done for me. Today, guys, it's an overwhelm, but I stand here and I inspire you. In three years in the business, I'm so blessed so much. Before I end, let me take this opportunity to thank you to our board of directors, Dr. Aconi, Doc Ed, Sir Francis Miguel, Sir John Asperin. Saying thank you is not enough. Thank you for having a global opportunity. You have changed thousands of people's lives, including me. To our planning team, Sir John, Sir Jordan and Sir Armelon Penn, thank you for the knowledge, learning that you imparted me. To all my leaders worldwide, BT Thai Rockets International, you are all blessings to me. Especially one of the biggest group I have in global Pakistan. Needed by the Jeff Upline, I'm in battle. I owe you big time, bro. To my upline, Roy Cueto. Upline, thank you so much for inviting us. To my upline in Dubai, Torpoe. Upline Mark and Eric, Nelvain and Francis, thank you so much. And of course, lastly, to my wife. Yes, she's my wife. She's my wife. Why well, you look at me like that? Someone told me, Joel, your wife is too beautiful for you. Beautiful and too young. I told them it's okay. Ask me what? She's beautiful and also millionaire in global. We are much. Guys, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for having me here. Thank you for the opportunity. God bless us all. God bless our company in global. Yeah. So well. No. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on.